So Peter's gloves have finally made it from the shop, through the testing, and onto a real honest-to-goodness NASA spacesuit. Fully loaded, the weight of the spacesuit on Earth is about 136 kilograms. We're gonna string you up on this. Even this physically elite spaceman needs a little help if he's going to do any testing. Remember, NASA's focus is the regular ho-hum motions an astronaut needs to do that can mean the difference between a successful mission and a fatal one. So hammering is a lot of wrist action, so that's part of why we want to have flexibility in the wrist. In this direction right here. And right? also the ability to grip and hold the tool. What do you think, Richard? Is that, is that some quality hammering gloves right there? Good hammering. I got good wrist mobility. It's allowing me to really swing away. How do you feel about that? That's great. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can tell from the expression on your face. My you think that's again? pretty cool. Yeah. You know what would be super cool? Let's get you inside one of these suits. I am on a mission of my own. Make Peter smile. As in actually get his lips to crack horizontal. Dick, do you put a lot of uh, independent inventors from Southwest Harbor, Maine into the suit? First one. Another NASA first. Peter, we'll see you on the other side. Maybe. There you go. Come on up. Don't, you got, don't worry about this. There you go. There you go. Get out of your way. Woo! You're in the suit, Peter. How much fun was that? <laughs> I want you to think uh, very slimming thoughts. <laughs> it sounds like he's in. Lock. Cool. He's in. Yeah, it's official. Snap good. good. Feel good? <laughs> yeah, there you are. Do the double bicep. Yeah. Ah! That's an astronaut physique. Yeah. <laughs> now let me ask you, how do these gloves feel? They feel pretty good. Do they feel all right? You know what we need, don't you? We need a picture, and I need a really big smile from you. Right. Dick, do the honors. Thanks, sir. Big smile. Yeah, give him the space hat. Peter, are you smiling? Yeah. He One, is. Two, he really three. is. Finally. Yes. Right here. So, what's next for Peter? Well, the work he did for space has applications here on Earth. In hyperbaric chambers, high-pressure oxygen can help repair damaged brain tissue in stroke victims. Peter is designing a vastly less expensive hyperbaric suit on his own dime. Off we go. Wow. He's been officially contracted by NASA to continue his work for them, and is also working with a company called Orbital Outfitters on the design of a commercial suit for the first wave of space tourists so regular folks like you and me can experience the excitement of the great beyond. Whoa, 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 what the? Oh, geez. And he's going to do it all from a little town in Maine, as long as his work doesn't mess up too much of his wife's Pilates schedule. Exhale, draw your legs up towards. The thing that's going to definitely happen one way or another is that humans are going to move off of the planet and start colonizing well, other world. Hawking says we have to, right? That it's a crazy strategy yeah. to inhabit just this one planet. Right, I mean, the Earth is the, the cradle of humanity and it's time for humans to get out of the cradle. What is the origin of the universe? I don't know. I got nothing, frankly. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs>